Managed reports are a new concept introduced in CM4D version 21. The managed report is the defined content of your PDF report. It selects what cheat sets are included in the PDF, where the PDF is saved, and what the PDF is called. A managed report can span multiple documents. Instead of making one very large managed document with hundreds of sheets, you can now break up that same information into any number of smaller, more manageable documents that are reassembled when the report is printed. These managed reports can be generated on demand through the CM4D web interface or registered with a CM4D scheduler job that is printed on a timed or data process basis. Managed reports are created and maintained using CM4D web, and this is what we'll be going over today. There are a few different ways to create a managed report, so in this video we'll go over creating a new managed report from a single managed document, creating a new managed report from multiple managed documents, and creating new default managed reports from a new managed document. When you save a managed document, CM4D registers managed sheet sets, which are then available in CM4D web to build managed reports. So before we create a managed report, we'll go into one of our managed documents to configure the sheet sets for use with managed reports. In the sheet set properties, check the managed box. This makes the sheet set managed and will appear in CM4D web once the document is saved. Set this property on every sheet set that you want to register. Save the managed document. Then go to CM4D web and click the admin tools tab. This will open the Managed Reports page, where you can edit existing managed reports or create new ones. We will be making a new managed report, so click Create. Enter a report label. This is what will identify the managed report and must be unique. Leave the report name set to the default doc, comma, title, and select a depository. The depository is the named folder where the PDF report will go. Click on the Sheet Sets to select tab. In the document name column, we'll type in CPK to narrow down our list. Select the checkboxes next to the sheet sets you want to include in the managed report. The order of these are checked is the order that the sheet sets will be in the final PDF report. However, you can change the order of the selected sheet sets by clicking and dragging the sheet set row into the sequence you want to use. When you're finished, click Create. Then go back to your templates page and click the Refresh button. The new managed report now appears in the list and can be submitted for printing by any user in the site database. I can submit this managed report and it's going to go into the queue and it's going to process. Once I see that it's done, I can go to my reports and open the report that I just printed. Next, we'll repeat the process of creating a new managed report, but this time we'll make one that uses sheet sets for more than one document. So we'll go back to the Manage Reports page in web and click Create. Give the report a label. Set a report name. Remember that if you use a variable like the default doc, comma, title, it will resolve the name of the first document used in the sequence of sheet sets. So make sure to only use variables that make sense. Select a depository. Set the report tag source. In the sheet set query parameters, we'll type in 400 and this will narrow down the list of our managed documents to that model number. Switch to the Sheet Sets tab. Here we'll type in Assembly to further narrow down results. Select all the sheet sets. Note that although all the sheet sets have the same sheet set label, they are all from a different managed document. Change the sequence as you like, and then click Create. So now you have two new managed reports, so let's take a quick look at Scheduler to see if these new managed reports are selected for your scheduled jobs. In the Job Setup tab, double-click on the field in the Managed Reports column. You'll see the two managed reports that we just created. We'll select the managed reports we want to generate for this job and click OK, and then save the job. So the next time this job runs, you'll have two new PDFs with the contents you defined when you created those new managed reports. And finally, if you're saving a new managed document, you may choose to allow CM4D to create a new managed report for you. Here I have a document that I want to manage. Since I know I want to have default managed reports created for me, I've already set the sheet sets I want to manage. Now I'll make this document a managed document. And when I save this brand new managed document, the dialog will come up.
It says, do I want to generate default managed reports? If I say yes, Scene4D will create a new managed report for each managed sheet set in the document. The default managed report is going to be labeled based on the document name plus the sheet set name. It's also going to ask you to set the report tag source. I'll pick global if no doc for this. I'll click yes, and now I have managed reports that point to this template. So now I'll go back to web and click refresh. I know that default managed reports begin with the name of the managed document, so I can type text into the label column to find my new managed reports quickly. And I can now see my new managed reports in the list, one for each managed sheet set in that managed document. Keep in mind that the default basic managed reports have some limitations. Without a few extras added, we can only use them in web. They will not show up in the list in scheduler. So we'll edit one of these default managed reports to add the information we need. We'll need to add a report name. This is the name that will be given to the generated PDF. It also needs to have a depository set since this tells CM40 where the PDF will be saved. We'll click update to save the changes. You can repeat this process for the other default managed reports that you want to be available for scheduler jobs, but for right now we'll just do the one. So then we'll go back to scheduler and click revert to load the latest from the database. Double click on the managed reports field and now you can see the one default managed report that we updated to include the report name and depository. The other five default managed reports will not appear in this list unless the additional information is added. Select the new managed report, click OK to add it to the job. And save the changes. And that's it. I now have several new managed reports created a few different ways. Other users can now submit those managed reports to print in CM4D web, and my new scheduled job will generate three new PDF reports the next time it runs.